Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. What agents to use in patients with thyroid cancer has obviously evolved. And today, in 2015, uh, we have two FDA-approved agents for the treatment of patients with radioactive iodine refractory uh, thyroid cancer. The first agent that was approved is serafinib. Now, serafinib was approved uh, in 2013 uh, based on the decision trial. Uh, the decision trial uh, is a randomized phase three trial where patients with thyroid cancer that is refractory to radioactive iodine were randomized to receive either serafinib, uh, which is an oral drug that's given daily, twice a day, or placebo. So obviously at that time when that study was done, the standard of care, we did not have any agents, so it was acceptable to randomize patients to placebo. And on that trial, the, the, the uh, patients were treated with the oral agents or with placebo. Again, this is an oral drug given daily. Uh, the primary endpoint of this trial is progression-free survival, and secondary endpoint is overall survival. Now, this trial enrolled more than 400 patients. It accrued very well. Many of the patients came from Europe, around 60%. Uh, these were patients with all types of thyroid cancer that is, again, recurrent and refractory to radioactive iodine. Now, patients were allowed to cross over. Uh, what that meant is that if you were on the placebo and then your cancer got worse, you were allowed to get serafinib, and that's, uh, that's by design. So this trial uh, did show that there was an improvement in progression-free survival. Uh, so patients did benefit from receiving serafinib compared to placebo. The progression-free survival was around 11 months on the serafinib arm, and it was around six months on the placebo arm. So there was an improvement of around five months with the use of serafinib in these patients. There was no difference noted in overall survival on this trial, but again, remember that patients were allowed to cross over, and most patients did end up receiving serafinib on this trial. Now, again, this trial led to the FDA approval of serafinib in 2013, so this is an approved agent, an available agent for our patients. Uh, serafinib is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. It's a VEGF inhibitor, or what's known as a VEGF inhibitor. It's also possibly a BRAF inhibitor, which is an important target in thyroid cancer. Now, uh, serafinib, just like other drugs, other tyrosine kinase inhibitors that are used in thyroid cancer, in renal cancer, in hepatocellular carcinoma, there are many of these agents uh, available now. These agents have side effects, and uh, serafinib was no exception. There were uh, many patients who were not able to continue on this drug. There was uh, around 18% of patients who discontinued treatment because of side effects. And a, large, uh, and a large number of patients needed a dose reduction. They did not tolerate the fully approved uh, dose of this agent. Uh, the main side effects of, of serafinib is what we call the hand-foot syndrome, which has changes in the ha hands and feet. It can also cause uh, diarrhea. It can cause hypertension which is a class effect uh, of, of all the VEGF drugs. Uh, I think it was around 10% of patients did develop a grade three uh, uh, hypertension. So if you look at these side effects, there's obviously manageable side effects. They, uh, with the appropriate uh, treatments, patients can be managed. They can receive a dose reduction. They can have a, a break in the treatment and then resume at a lower dose. Uh, but with this agent, essentially what we've seen is that we've seen an improvement in progression-free survival. Uh, what was a little bit uh, uh, disappointing with this uh, trial is that the response rate was low. It was around 12% on this trial. And what this means is the uh, response rate essentially defines uh, shrinkage of tumor uh, that has to reach a certain percentage. Uh, so going by the definitions that we use in oncology of response rate, the actual response rate with serafinib was 12%. So where you saw actually tumor shrinkage. Many patients had tumor shrinkage but did not reach the 30% that we look for. And also many patients had what we call stable disease, meaning their cancer did not get worse, it did not shrink, but it did not get worse. So in oncology, we call this stable disease. So you had a group of patients who had stable disease. You had a group of patients which was 12% on this trial that had what we call a partial response, where the tumor uh, shrunk.